According to Cybersecurity Ventures, the global cybercrime cost is expected to grow and reach 10.5 trillion US dollars by 2025. That's the cost we have to pay for cybercrimes. In this video, we bring you the top 10 dangerous computer hackers of all the time. But before we begin, if you're new here and haven't subscribed already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon for interesting tech videos every day. At number 10, we have Johnson James Ancheta. In the year 2006, Johnson James Ancheta of Downey, California was charged for controlling huge number of botnets, in other words, hijacked computers. This was the first time that a hacker was sent to prison for the use of botnet technology. Anchita used botnets to compromise more than 400,000 computers. Advertising companies paid him to install adware or bots on specified systems. It is also noted that Anchita advertised the sale of his botnets to those interested in sending spam or launching DDoS attacks without being identified. He was also pleaded guilty for infecting machines at two US military sites which earned him more than $61,000. Jawson James Anchita was captured in a well-planned and elaborate sting operation when FBI agents coaxed him in their office on the pretext of collecting computer equipment. He was sentenced to nearly 60 months of imprisonment and was ordered to pay 15,000 US dollars to the US federal government for hacking their military computers. At number 9, we have Andron Lamo. Lamo began his hacking journey by hacking games. He was more likely a grey hat hacker who wanted people to understand the importance of internet security. However, it went far ahead when he hacked the New York Times intranet in 2002. He was called the homeless hacker for his transient lifestyle and he often had no fixed address. He used to hack top-notch accounts by sitting in cafeterias, libraries and so on. He was convicted for compromising security at the New York Times, Microsoft and Yahoo to name a few. He later gained the badge of an American threat analyst. He also appeared on Good Morning America, Fox News, Democracy Now etc as an expert on net-centric crime and incidents. Lamo died in the year 2018 at the age of 37. At number 8, we have Kevin Paulson, a former American black hat hacker. In the hacker community, he is better known as Dark Dante. At the age of 17, he hacked the US Department of Defense, but he was left with a warning as he was a minor. Later in 1990, he propelled to stardom for infiltrating a radio show call-in contest and guaranteeing that he will be the 102nd caller to win the brand new Porsche 944 S2. The FBI stated pursuing Paulson and was soon arrested and sentenced to a five years of imprisonment. He was also barred from using a computer or internet for three years post his release. Later, he took into white hat hacking and journalism. In the year 2005, he became a senior editor of Wired News. At number 7, we have the famous American hacker, Jonathan James, better known as Comrade. He was the first juvenile in the United States to be sent to prison for hacking. This famous hack was his intrusion into the Defense Threat Reduction Agency or DTRA Computers, a division of the United States Department of Defense. He installed a backdoor on its servers. This enabled him to access over 3,000 messages from government employees, various usernames, passwords and other confidential data. This helped James steal a piece of NASA software and this forced NASA to shut down computers for 3 weeks to fix the issue at an estimated cost of 41,000 American dollars. He was sentenced to 6 months arrest in 2000. He carried out his hacking using the alias Comrade. He specialized in hacking high-profile government systems, however, he had a bitter ending in 2008. Moving on to our hacker at number 6. At number 6, we have Anonymous. The Anonymous group is an international decentralized hacktivist movement that is widely known for its cyber attacks against several governments, its agencies and the Church of Scientology. This group is focused on the concept of social justice. The members of this group, known as Anons, are recognized in public by wearing Guy Fox masks. However, some members cover their face without using the well-known masks as well. 
They are known as being the digital Robin Hood amongst its supporters. One of the noted incidents was in the year 2008 when the group took up issue with the Church of Scientology and began to disable their websites. They are also known for hacking Vatican, the FBI, PayPal, Sony, the CIA, Mastercard, Visa, the Israeli, Chinese, Tunisian and Ugandan governments. While the law enforcement agencies and FBI have tracked down a few of the group's members, the lack of any proper hierarchy makes it almost impossible to distinguish or eliminate the anonymous groups as a whole. At number 5, we have the British Dio, Matthew Baven and Richard Price. In 1994, the DO hacked into multiple US military systems including the Defense Information System Agency, Griffiths Air Force Base and the Korean Atomic Research Institute. They infiltrated into foreign systems by transferring critical data of Korean Atomic Research Institute into the United States Air Force system. In 1996, Baven was arrested for hacking incidents related to US Air Force defense manufacturer Lockheed NASA and NATO. The Pentagon described Baven as the number one threat to US security and possibly the single biggest threat to world peace since Adolf Hitler. However, Baven claims he was looking to prove a UFO conspiracy theory. In 1997, Price was fined £1,200 after pleading guilty to 12 offences of gaining unauthorised access to computer systems in March and April 1994. Having malicious purposes or not, Baven and Price displayed that even military networks are vulnerable. Now, moving on to a hacker at number 4. At number 4, we have Astra. This hacker is a tad bit different from the others on this list as he has never been publicly identified. The pen name of this hacker, Astra, is a Sanskrit word for a weapon. In 2008, it was reported that the authorities apprehended him. At that time, he was known as a 58-year-old Greek mathematician. He hacked into France's Dassault group systems and got his hands on vulnerable weapons technology data and then sold it to different countries for a long period. Astra was reported to have sold the data to nearly 250 people from across the world. This in turn caused Dassault 360 million US dollars of damage. While the Astra's real identity was never discovered, officials have said that he had been wanted since the year 2002. At number 3, we have the famous American computer hacker Albert Gonzalez. He was responsible for carrying out multiple hacks. He is accused of masterminding the biggest fraud in history, that is, the combined credit card theft and reselling of nearly 170 million card and ATM numbers from the year 2005 to 2007. This shows how unsafe internet banking can be at times. This was recorded to be one of the biggest credit card thefts in history. He carried out this by installing a sniffer. Albert Gonzalez is also said to have been the mastermind of the DJX company's hack wherein 45.6 million debit and credit numbers were stolen. Later in 2010, he was sentenced to 20 years in federal prison. Moving on to a hacker at number 2. At number 2, we have Gary McKinson. He is a Scottish systems administrator and hacker accused of carrying out the biggest military computer hack of all time. In 2002, he identified himself as Solo through an odd message on a US Army computer. It was later found to be Gary McKinson. He was accused of infiltrating 97 United States military and NASA computers by installing wires and deleting a few files over 13 months between February 2001 and March 2002. This was the biggest military computer attack of all time. This shut down the US military's Washington network for 24 hours. What is fascinating is his reason that much of his hacking was in search of information on UFOs that he believed the US government was hiding in its military computers. And finally, let's see who we have at number 1. At number 1, we have Kevin Mitnick. The now affluent American entrepreneur was one of the most wanted cyber criminal of US once upon a time. Kevin, who is currently a security consultant, was once convicted of hacking Motorola, Nokia and Pentagon. Kevin mastered computer hacking and social engineering early and got his start as a teen. In 1982, he hacked the North American Defense Command. This achievement inspired the 1983 film War Games. 
In 1989, he hacked Digital Equipment Corporation's network and made copies of their software. It's largely believed that he once obtained full control of Pacific Bell's network to merely prove that it could be done. He never exploited the data he obtained. According to reports, Mitnick gained unauthorized access to a dozens of computer networks while he was a fugitive. After five years of imprisonment, Mitnick started afresh and became a security consultant. His knack with computers is still remembered. All of these hackers were unbelievably skilled in cyber code. Few of them faced jail in time, a few of others ever since put their cyber skills to better use by becoming security advisors and helping humankind. Hacking skills aren't a form of criminal behavior if it is put to good use. So with that, we have come to an end of this video on top 10 dangerous hackers of all time. Do you agree with our list? If you are aware of any other great computer hackers in history, let us know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for being here and do watch out for more videos from us. Until then, keep learning and stay tuned to Simply Learn.